It's time to depart Guanajuato after a fond two days. <laughs> productive many tasks completed including I now have a pre-cut chain on the bicycle which I can put on myself a quick link tool on the bike in about another five six hundred miles so that's comforting the exploration of the town was certainly a highlight and also meeting Armando I want to thank him a friend of a friend who's become a friend for taking me on a drive last night to get that chain I'm headed south into new spaces. Not sure where I'm gonna stay yet tonight. No doubt it'll be an adventure and positive stories and more. Well, I've survived the exit from Guanajuato. The road that I came down didn't have a shoulder so it was a bit uncomfortable at times the traffic was fairly light just one vehicle actually put me in the ditch came around me trying to beat the car coming forward well i say the ditch i went on with the shoulder no harm done just a quick exit that i wasn't anticipating but just up ahead over my left shoulder I'm going to transition on to another road, and this one has a wide shoulder. Nice break here after riding down a toll road for the first time in Mexico. It's a comfortable day, maybe 60. I'm yet again in a different landscape. The soil is darkened up. There's clearly more moisture here. There's quite a bit of grass covering the ground when there isn't agriculture growing vegetables. It's pretty, it's uh, sometimes industrial. I can see where some of the food is coming from in our grocery stores to the north, so it's an education. I thought I'd take advantage of a pedestrian way that is seemingly in the countryside, allows folks to get up and over by bike or foot or probably motorbike quite a lot too, from one side of the 43D to the other. Now the reason I stopped here in particular is the soil's gotten very dark and I also noticed some obvious volcanic origin stone on the shoulders below where I'm riding, so on the soft part of the shoulder. As I pan this camera around, look over my shoulders and you'll see several flat top mountains. The most obvious ones are just ahead of me so let me dash over there quickly. And there's another one behind that beast now over my left shoulder that you can't see at this point. So that's why the soils are so rich and so productive here. There's several volcanoes. Crop production has benefited greatly by their presence. <music> Thank you.
think I'm really going to enjoy staying in this town. It's so.